You're not initiated into the league yet. You can't be in here. Hey guys, what's up? LD Shadow Lady here and welcome back to Kingdom Craft. Today we're going to be finishing off the wilderness area of my base with some very cool features that I'm really excited about. But first, I asked you guys on Twitter and Instagram to submit some artwork for the League of Villains and now I am drowning in amazing artwork. So since we don't have a use for this room yet, I thought we could turn this into a villains area. So to represent the villainous theme in here, I've made this room entirely black and I thought this would be a good place to put our villain logo, which we decided is the Bunny of Doom on my cape since I founded the League of Villains and I happen to already have a very spooky logo. So I'm just going to build the logo on this wall here. So just in case you ever wanted to know how to build the official logo, this is it. Ta-da! It's very cute for a symbol of death. So now that we have our main attraction, we can start adding in all the artwork. First one we get is, oh, look how cute we all look. Ollie's got his little dragon head. Me and Megan look so cute. And Joel's got a dead chicken on a stick. It's perfect. Now let's try and get a different picture next to it. This one is awesome too. I'm sitting on my ice throne, surrounded by my crew. Me, Ollie and Joel look super evil because we've been villains for a while, but Megan is kind of new. So she needs to work on her villain smirk. Okay, now on this side, let's try and get the last big painting. There it is. It's so pretty. And it even has the little bunny banners. This one is so cute too. We might actually be the cutest villains that have ever existed. Next is, oh my gosh, why are they so cute? It's perfect. Boom. This one is hand drawn and I've never been so attracted to Shrek before. That one's so cool. Next, this one's very cute. This one is awesome because I am on a throne. Next, oh my gosh, this one's adorable. We're floating in the air. Joel's got a little bit of TNT. Megan's curled up in a cute little ball. Oh my gosh, in this one, we kind of look like we're in a K-pop group. Maybe that's our next act of taking over the world. We dominate the K-pop scene. Wait, oh, look how cute this one is. And we all have little devil horns. Oh, and this one's adorable too. There's just too much cuteness. Oh my gosh, look at this one. I have a cloak and Joel has a dead chicken. <laughs> well, that's kind of horrifying. What the heck am I gonna see next? Ooh, this one's cool. And it has our kingdoms in the background. Very nice, this is starting to look really good. I bet the League of Victims base doesn't have this. Oh, another freaking adorable artwork. And again, somehow it's adorable, even though Joel is literally holding a dead chicken. I love it. Oh, this one's so cool. I love how Megan, me and Ollie look adorable. And then Joel is just a chunky Shrek. <laughs> and Megan's holding the banner. Oh, this one's so pink. Oh, this one's a two-parter. Aha, look, Joel's got all his building blocks and Ollie's got his little dragon hand. Oh my gosh, that one's so cute. Getting some strong villain vibes from us all in this one. <gasps> Yet another adorable one. Ooh, and that's the final one. I'm so in love with this room. Probably more than any person should be in love with a room. And there's actually so much more artwork that I ran out of painting slots. So I had a genius idea to replace some of the block textures with artwork. For example, if we take some diorite, andesite, and granite, and then turn them into polished stone, it's a crazy looking artwork block. Now all we need to do is place these in the wall, Ta-da! It works just like a painting. Here we all are looking super normal and then here's our villain alter egos. Okay, I've looked at it for too long and I'm actually scared now. So moving on, let's see what the diorite one looks like. Ooh, very cool. Oh, this one has Cat Jeremy on it and my ice throne. May I just say, I love Joel's eyebrows. Finally, polished andesite. Oh my gosh, this one's like a cartoon. Is Joel just staring at me while Ollie and Megan set fire to themselves in the background? <laughs> Very accurate, the League of Villains exposed. Now, I also did this for a couple of other blocks, but they're kind of weird blocks. So now I have to go on a quest for this weird assortment of blocks. So some of these blocks I can actually buy at spawn. So one of them is cost dirt. So we'll just buy one of these. I must be the only person that has ever purchased cost dirt from this man. And one of them is cut sandstone. So we already have two. There is some concrete powder with artwork on it and chiseled stone bricks. 
Now we also need a block of lapis and a block of coal. However, we still need to go and get some dead coral blocks. Yeah. I'm not sure anybody has ever had the desire to collect these before, but here I go. Aha, just what I'm looking for. Except this coral reef is looking a little too alive for me. Come on, let's fix that. So we got our five different types of coral. Now, hopefully when I place these down, they will die, which is kind of sad, but they will be replaced with beautiful artwork. So don't worry. Here we go. It, it didn't die. Oh, <gasps> see, I told you. Let's see what this one turns into. Oh, oh my gosh. That one is crazy. Let's see what that turns into. Ooh, that one's adorable. Look how pink my hair is. And the yellow one will turn into this adorable little thing. And the last coral makes this. Wow, everyone's like holding me up and praising me. Except Megan, who's looking up my skirt. That is what the cast dirt becomes. Much cuter than cast dirt. Oh, wow. This one's cute. Oh, he's making such a funny face. What a squad, honestly. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute. We're all cuddling. Because even though we're villains, we are capable of friendship, okay? Oh, wow. This one's kind of terrifying. I'm honestly scared of that one. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at us. Surrounded by flames. Perfect. Oh, one last piece of artwork that I almost forgot about. Boom. Oh, we're surrounded by some kind of green evilness. I love it. Okay, so that is all of the artwork for this room. I thought it would be nice to display something else as well that I have tucked away in my chest of heads. Why yes, it's one of Shelby's heads, which I recovered from CPK's base when we raided him. So I thought we could display this here as a token of one of our accomplishments. I don't know about you, but I am kind of desperate to see what this looks like in vanilla because I bet it looks hideous. Oh my goodness, it's not cute. This is not cute at all. Okay, well, this room has a lot of chaotic evil energy. I think it's done. We will now move on to the underground wilderness. And last time I asked you guys to suggest some biomes that you wanted to see in here. And I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner, but you guys suggested the alpine biome. Okay, so I've put the river around the alpine island. Now I'm just gonna cover this in snow. And I'm also gonna build a little mountain there. Now let's cover this baby in snow. Okay, this is looking good. It looks like Elsa has visited, but it's definitely missing some trees. So obviously I'm going to plant some spruce trees. Okay, there's one. Ooh, let's see if we can put some snow on top of the leaves. This will look so realistic. Oh, I think that looks really cute actually. Now, when I think of Alpine, I think of cows. So I think we need to get all of the cows across there. So let's build a little bridge for them and let's lure them across. And now they're trapped over here. And only I can pass between the islands. My alpine kingdom is complete. So the next biome suggestion from the comments is going to be the enchanted forest. I absolutely love this idea. Can't believe I didn't think of it myself. So we're gonna section off a huge area to build the enchanted forest. Now in this area, well, first of all, we need trees. So let's get some birch trees, oak trees, and maybe some dark oak. We'll see what this looks like. Whoa, that one grew and it's purple. It looks amazing. We need more of those. Now let's chop down some of the wood so it's not chunky. There. Well, I think that looks fabulous. I think the torches are ruining it a little bit though. Okay, that's a bit better. Now let's bone meal and then we'll add some flowers. That's cute. Okay, I think this enchanted forest might actually just be my favorite biome. The final thing I'm gonna build in this giant dome of wilderness is my very own Minecraft village, complete with villagers, hopefully. We'll see if it works. <laughs> first things first, I need a villager. And how do I get a villager? Well, I'm gonna use this zombie villager spawner that I have here, and I am gonna cure some of these zombie villagers. So let's go and buy the splash potion of weakness because I am lazy, and I just wanna support local witches like Evanora. So let's buy a couple, and then we need to turn them into splash potions. And actually it would be cool to put my brewing stand in the village. Maybe I can build a witch hut in my village. So I'll just leave it here for now. Wow, is that really the first time I brewed something? <laughs> what have I been doing this whole time? Now let's see if we can get some zombie villagers. Okay, let's let a few zombies spawn. Oh my gosh, one already spawned. Ah, I wasn't ready. So we splash him and then we give him a golden apple. Oh no, no. Help! Oh, 
Okay, so apparently the smart thing would be to trap him, which I did not consider. Wait, he's shaking. I think he's being cured. <gasps> oh my gosh, he's a guy now. <gasps> And he's cute! Hi! Welcome to my base! Well, now that we know how to get villages, we need to build them a little village! Okay, so let's build him a house. I'm going to use wood in the traditional village style to remind him of home. Except hopefully slightly less ugly than the vanilla Minecraft houses. How's that? Kind of wonky, but just don't look at that. Wait, where'd he go? Wait, how did he get out there? Um. You're not initiated into the league yet. You can't be in here. You gotta get out. Back to the village. You cheeky man. Get back down there. I actually don't know how he got over that. Maybe he's just more agile than a chicken. I don't know. But this is his house now. And his house is complete. I'm also gonna build a little witch hut for my lonely brewing stand. Now, this is gonna be a pretty tiny house, okay? So please prepare yourself for its minuscule size. There. One witch hut. So this is gonna be my witch hut and this is my villager hut. Now all we have to do is get this guy a girlfriend. I'm just gonna keep killing them until one of them is a librarian. Come with me if you want to be cured. Oh. 12 seconds later. Ooh, the librarian has been cured. And look how adorable he is. It would be nice if this villager would trade, uh, well, I don't know, mending or something really helpful. <gasps> Sweeping edge two. Well, I hate you. I want you out of here by tomorrow. We're getting a new librarian. How villainous would it be to have a trap door that opens into lava so that I can easily eradicate all the villagers that displease me? Or is that a little bit psycho? <gasps> Wait, I just remember there's a painting I forgot to put up. Aha! How crazy is this? It's like we've got our own movie! So now we have everything down here that we could ever dream of, except a decent librarian. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Kingdom Craft. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time. And a massive thank you to everybody that submitted some artwork for the League of Villains. I wasn't able to showcase it all in today's episode, but the other villains and I had a great time looking through it all, and we really appreciate your artistic support.